one year. I'm a big, I'm a sophomore. Uh, Miami LaSalle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a major impact because knowing Coach Spaz and looking at his background history, he had a lot of credibility to him, especially with him seeing bowl game appearances and uh, winning games, having a winning tradition. So that's something I want to be a part of. Yes, sir. Terrell, yeah. Yeah. Uh, personally, I have to say maturity and time management. Yeah, it's a big thing. Uh, the most I'm looking forward to this season is making a bowl game appearance. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, they're responding pretty well. They, my team trust has. I can notice that that went up the charts, and um, they expect me to make plays for the defense, and that's what I want to provide for them. Looking forward to two games actually, Texas A&M and Appalachian State. Yes, sir. Uh, the defense returns all the experience you guys asked for. It's mm -hmm. year four of a rebuild, so this is kind of and Doug Martin took the long road and actually recruiting out of high school instead of getting JUCO guys. Yes, sir. So now there's so much experience. Um, how has that benefited? Uh, it benefited us a lot, actually, because we're a young defense, and that's what most people don't understand. We're young. We still got a lot to learn. And uh, with Coach Martin recruiting out of high school, he's building a program from the bottom up. And then now with JUCO incoming guys, we they get to come. We pick up the pace with us, and, you know, we get everything rocking and rolling. Uh, year four of a rebuild is typically seen as the year that the results do to come in. Mm -hmm. Is there any added pressure that – Uh, no pressure at all, you know, just a sound-based defense. Come out there and run to the ball, hold each other accountable. What has uh, Coach Spaziani done to uh, change the way the defense operates this year? Discipline. Discipline. We're a lot disciplined this year. Oh yeah, we're he, uh, Coach Decker is on our weight every Monday and Fridays. He got us on sh weight shakes. He got us on bars. We could take home after. We got bagels, everything. So he he stand on top of our weights. Uh, how much does it add confidence to a defense knowing that you have a home run threat like uh, Larry Rosen or Oh, it it, it it's it's a lot of it's a big confidence for us because we know we're gonna be on the field because offense gonna get the ball in the end zone. We just got to stop the offense. What are your ultimate expectations for this season? Score on defense. As much as we could score on offense, score on defense. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Terrell, do you mind one more question before we finish? Um, what exactly with the risk management that I believe, what exactly do you believe in if you can just break that down for us real quick? 
Oh, this is Team Lori. Yeah, Lori is really close to the team. I met her on my visit uh, my freshman year. She was like a team mom for us, and she passed away for cancer. So she had a lot. She was really close to the team, and she donated a lot for us. So we dedicated this season. Team Lori, I believe. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, we haven't really changed much. Just a lot off our plate right now. So we're just trying to, he, he's coming in with a sound based traditional defense and everyone just know their jobs and be disciplined really. Yeah, talk a little more about the discipline and how you guys are improving on that. Uh, we're proving on that because uh, Spaziani's old coach, old school coach, so he brought that to our defense. You know, everyone wants to do things their way. But that's not how it is with him. You gotta do it his way, old school way, sound and fundamentals. And how about the additions that the JUCO guys? You know, some newer faces on the team, but guys that are older, a little more mature. Mm -hmm. What did you pick up from them as you guys came here? Oh yeah, those those JUCO guys can help out a lot. They came here ready to get better. Uh, there's a couple of JUCO players that as soon as they got here, they're on our day off. They're on the field doing field work, extra work. So they got a, a peep players that's been there before them to jump in right behind them to get extra work in. So, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. I got two questions. Okay. I don't know if you've been seeing on these monitors, they, they show the, the ankle session. Yeah, the ankle session. They yeah, they call it the ankle session. Can you just like talk about that play again and just kind of yeah. just break it down? Uh, I remember talking to Javon Ferguson, number seven, the one who tipped it before the play. He was uh, actually, before Idaho broke out the huddle, he was saying, it's time, T. It's our play. God got a blessing with our name on it. And I just kind of looked at him and shook my head. And then I remember it was second down, ball on the 26. And because uh, he just got a sack, I think it was second and, second and 14, 15. And I remember they come out with three receivers to my side. And I noticed he was still in the box, so I called him. I said, come out, come out some. And he was like, I got you, I got you. But he wasn't reacting, so he, he stemmed it a little bit, waited for him to hike it. So he hustled over, and then I noticed that I tried to reroute, and I turned around, and I missed the guy. And I saw him, I saw the quarterback throw the ball, and I saw Javon reach up with one hand. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So he tipped it, actually tipped it, and he noticed he couldn't catch it. So he tipped it again, and he looked at me and was like, and I jumped in the air because I didn't know. He patted it down between my legs, and I looked down. Before I knew it, something told me to just close my feet, and I felt it. It was just you, and I don't know. Actually, I couldn't look at the ball directly. I just feel I knew I had it in the grip, the type of grip I had it. It was above my ankle, so I was like, I think I got it. And I just rolled over, and I looked over to the I looked over to the ref in the sideline. I saw everyone throw their helmets and run on the field. I was like. I think I want the game. <laughs> yeah. You play soccer or anything like that? Uh, nah, I don't play soccer, actually. I just, I actually drop my phone a lot when I'm sitting down, so I, the reaction kind of helped. Uh, that's where it come from. I also heard that uh, two days later in your training room, you would drop something like that. <laughs> I, I dropped the ice bag. I was sitting down on the, on the tra training table, and I dropped the ice pack. And I caught it with my ankles again. And I said, back at it. And everybody started laughing. Yeah, how many ankle sessions do you think in this year? At least two. 